Hey everybody, it's Mike. Uh, it's almost the end of 2018. Uh, I was cleaning up the shop today and I realized I've never done a shop tour. And I don't think that you can be a YouTube woodworking person without doing a shop tour at some point. So since I just cleaned up and it's the end of the year, I figured let's check in on where my shop is at. Uh, at the end of its first full year of me actually doing, making things out of wood, woodworking, or whatever it is that I do out here. I'll make wooden things and stuff. So uh, I'm going to start over at the door, into the shop from the house, and we'll just work our way around, and I'll show you all my tools and uh, what my shop is like. So happy end of 2018. Welcome to the first ever shop tour of Mike's wooden things and stuff. Let's go to the door. All right, so here we are at the door of my house from my shop, which is actually a one car garage that's attached to my house. Uh, let's start here. We got fire extinguisher. Everybody needs to have fire extinguisher in your shop uh, or one car garage or just have fire extinguishers everywhere. Uh, we've got the PPE cabinet with the uh, Head phony, let's call them earmuffs, uh, respirator, safety goggles, random coffee cup that I should probably take upstairs. And then over here, we got ye old J Bates dart cabinet. Because <laughs> J Bates and uh, Nick Ferry made a dart cabinet, and I saw that and I said, I guess I need a dart cabinet because. Yeah, not everything you make for the shop has to be adding to productivity, right? Right. Uh, what else we got in this corner? Oh, this is the uh, the template corner. This is my uh, my cork board that I got from work when they were throwing them out. This is where I put all my uh, ideas and templates and a random bag of some sandpaper, apparently. Uh, some more templates. This was a little bowl thing, router bowl that I made. Uh, over here, moving on, got the clamp rack number one and bandsaw. Cheap, crappy Mastercraft bandsaw, but it, you know what? It got me started. I got it on sale for 140 bucks or something. And, uh, it's the next thing to be replaced. Watch for that coming soon. I'm happy that I'm going to be replacing that, but. It doesn't owe me anything. Uh, it's cheap garbage, but it got me started cutting curves. Then we got a stereo cabinet and uh, some drills up here. I made this cabinet thinking it would fit the stereo on one shelf and other stuff on the other shelf. Then when I measured it, I forgot to take into account that rabbits in the sides to hold the shelves would take away some width. <laughs> so the stereo gets put like that. Uh, and then uh, we got sandpaper rack that I got. I think that's a Steve Ramsey idea, I think. And then tool rack over here, or tool wall. It's another Jay Bates creation. He decided to make a wall with just a piece of plywood, trimmed it out, put a bunch of little shelves and pegs and stuff in it to hold his tools. I'm going to be replacing that uh, at some point. This year, hopefully, with the new Matt Cremona project in the Wood Whisperer Guild that's coming up in January. I plan on buying his tool chest and replacing this with that. I like having the, the tools out and accessible, but that tool cabinet thing that Cremona is making looks fantastic, so I'm going to make that. And then over here, oh, there's some more wood. We'll get to that later. And down here, we got the Craftsman. Six inch jointer Craigslist find 40 bucks. I didn't have a jointer and I saw that one for $40 and I said, yep, okay, I'll try a $40 jointer off Craigslist. Uh, peg wall with uh, this is disorganized mess. This is going to get organized at some point soon, too. Uh, it's basically become a catch all for stuff. I don't know where else it goes. Uh, we got a little palm router jigsaw back here and random other things so that's gonna need some adjusting soon let's move over to the other side of the room we got down oh down i said down 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 the dust collector that uh 
came in just a couple months ago. I actually piped it across the wall in behind here and uh, then realized that I cannot run the tools that they connect to while the dust collector is running without tripping the breaker. So I need to get an electrician in here uh, before that can fully do what it's supposed to do. But I have it now. So, all right, then we got another another wall of tools. This was much better organized as wrenches and screwdrivers and pliers and uh, a couple of crap saws and a paper towel. That's That's a better situation than the other one. Moving on over here, we got drill press station. That's another crap Mastercraft. Again, I got it on sale, about $120, I think. And it drills holes. And I don't know what else you can ask of a drill press, but that's all I ask of mine, and it does it. So, come on, Gimbal. Where are you going? Get back here. Thank you. <sighs> Technology, man. Hey, but, you know, I got a gimbal. That's pretty cool. Uh, I stole it from work. I didn't steal it. I'm borrowing it from work. Uh, they got the Ryobi. Again, cheap, but does the trick. Ryobi miter saw. That was the first saw, actually the first piece of equipment to come into the shop. It was long before it was an actual shop. It was still a garage. I bought that chop saw to make uh, panels to paint on when I was painting more, making art and uh, that was the first thing to come into the shop and it actually started my love of woodworking was that chop saw right there and then on to the oscillating spindle sander there's clamp rack number two oscillating spindle sander the triton i moved that fan out of the way that's my air purification system by the way the uh whoop, where are you going gimbal come on now oh this is I bet you guys are really enjoying this this is this is good quality video right here. Get back here. Whoa, that was a roller coaster. Uh, Triton oscillating spindle sander, clamp rack. This is a shelf that I made thinking I needed another surface. It ends up holding my router and a hand plane that I'm thinking I'm gonna refurb, but probably never will. Cause look at that tote. Look at that tote. It's cracked right in half, and the guy actually put nails to hold it back together. I might make a new tote. I think I got that got that plan over here. Lee Valley tote plan. Uh, another shelf, and then we got the wood. Come on. Oh, somebody failed to plug this in. Maybe I don't know. It's having problems. We got the wood rack right now. This wall. This wall. And a little bit up under the garage is wood storage. Uh, I got on hand right now maybe 40 feet of walnut, maybe 50 of cherry, 45 or so of cedar, another 50 of Douglas fir, and then some leftover African mahogany from the coffee table. And there's some maple up there too. I don't know if you'll be able to. Oh, yeah, sure. Tip sideways. Uh, and then we got. The uh, pride and joy, the biggest accessory slash tool slash addition to the shop this past year was the R4512 table saw. Um, I saved up all last year and in about April, went down to Home Depot, got myself the R4512 because I knew I wanted an upgrade at table saw and that's how much money I could save up. So. Woo! There you go again. You guys back? Woo! Okay, this is the most nauseating of the shop tours. On, uh, sorry about the uh, getting spun around and whatever. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the shop. Maybe I'll do a little bit of B-roll footage and put it over those parts where you guys started spinning. <laughs> oh, there you go again. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in 2019. It's Christmas Eve, and so I wanted to do this shop tour before I see what I get tomorrow. Oop, there you go. There you go. Oh, come on. Ah, all right. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Merry New Year. Thanks for uh, checking out the shop. 
let's see what 2019 holds. I hope it's wonderful to you. It's wonderful to me. It's wonderful to the people you love and the people you don't. Because let's wish good things for them too. Yeah. All right. <laughs>